All right, get ready, because the drama between Drake and Kendrick Lamar is intense. It's a story full of insults, powerful songs, and surprising reveals. Drake has been acting different since this beef started, and Kendrick just keeps showing how petty he can be. Here's the latest. Kendrick dropped a diss track against Drake, made a music video for it, and even had a crowd singing it during a Juneteenth show. Drake didn't handle this well and had a major meltdown. Rumor has it that Drake's team wants him to restart the fight, so things might get even crazier. I have to admit, Kendrick knows how to handle beef. While many artists are subtle, Kendrick went all in against Drake. At first, Kendrick was somewhat polite, but when Drake went after his family, Kendrick went all out and really attacked Drake. I can imagine Drake regretting ever starting this with Kendrick. For those who haven't followed this from the start, this beef has been brewing since 2013. It began when Kendrick dissed a bunch of rappers, including Drake, on Big Sean's song, Control. While other rappers didn't take it personally, Drake did, and that's when the beef really started. Then, J. Cole and Drake released Firster Shooter, calling themselves and Kendrick the big three in rap. J. Cole said love when they argue who the best MC is. Is it K-Dot, is it Aubrey, or is it me? We the big three like we started a league. Kendrick didn't like this and hit back with a song with Metro Boomin saying, Mother F the big three, ninja, it's just big me. Drake and Kendrick kept dissing each other, but things got serious when Kendrick dropped Euphoria, a six minute song that tore Drake apart. Kendrick followed this with 616 in LA, revealing secrets about Drake and his team. Drake tried to respond with Family Matters, accusing Kendrick of being a hypocrite and making serious claims about Kendrick's personal life. Drake's song brought back old rumors and started new ones, but Kendrick hit back even harder with Meet the Grams, attacking Drake's family and exposing his shady behavior. Kendrick even mentioned Drake's mom and accused him of mistreating black women. The drama didn't stop there. Kendrick released They Not Like Us, with Drake's house on the cover. Soon after, Drake's house was shot at, and people blamed Kendrick, even though Drake's address was already public. They Not Like Us became a huge hit and Kendrick performed it during a show, making the crowd sing along six times. Kendrick was very petty, and it really affected Drake's mental health. Fans started feeling sorry for Drake as Kendrick kept coming for him. Drake hinted that he was struggling with his mental health, even posting a sad video on Instagram. Photos of Drake at a party showed him looking very stressed out. Insiders said Drake hates this situation and thinks Kendrick is going too far. Fans commented on how Kendrick had Crips and Bloods shaking hands, dancing to his song calling Drake a pedophile in front of a crowd. There's never been such a complete victory in a rap beef before. Kendrick has Drake looking stressed and old, but do you think Drake can come back from this? Or is it time for him to accept defeat? Share your thoughts in the comments below and stay tuned for more on this wild saga.